All right, good morning to day eight of the Lofoten crossing. Just packed my tent, backpack, everything, leaving the campsite now. Now we'll get a quick coffee. The coffee shop is very late. Oh, let me start the hike. It's 9.30. Uh, the, the camp spot is in the shade very, very long because of the mountains there. You can see the sun is still not up. Uh, it means it's very cold there, very long. Also, the tent got very wet for some reason. There was a lot of moisture, or maybe because it was so close to the ocean. I don't know, it's quite wet. So I have to dry it at one point. Hey, now, now the sun is out. <laughs> the other people on the camp spot, they were all still in the tents. Everyone was in the tent, no one was moving here. Yeah? pretending to sleep or it was too cold for them so I had to make a lot of noise to put my pack my back and put my tent together sorry people but it's <laughs> it was 8 39 or something time to get up Okay, on my way. <laughs> That's not the way. <laughs> uh, so today will be around 20 kilometers again. Unfortunately, the first four kilometers will be along the E10, the main road again. I have to walk all the way to that bridge. Yeah, maybe you see it in the far distance. I will have to cross that bridge. And it's, it's just four kilometers along the main road just to get to the beginning of the bridge. And then from there across the bridge is a different road. And it's allowed to walk over the bridge. Let's see. Well, I have to. And other people do the same thing. It's not forbidden. And then my the main part of my today's hike will be just on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, that area. And then you will see. Okay. Now let's tackle the road it's quite busy already at 10 a.m. Uh, but I'm wearing the red shirt again <laughs> it's super smelly but at least it makes me visible right I am speed I hope the cars are not speed <laughs> right okay that's what I worry most are these big buses okay stay safe everyone including me Decided to leave the road and try to dash through here through the wilderness. Yeah, it's a bit slower to walk, but it's much safer and more pleasant. There's no path, of course, but there's grass here, and sorry that I have to step on the grass, but just want to stay safe very busy on the road of course if you don't go to Ramberg just do the loop uh, or finish yeah, like yesterday evening at the wild campsite uh, you don't have to walk so much on the road you would come out back from there where I came out yesterday and then maybe still two kilometers on the road but I like it here at the moment uh, I found an animal path. Animals know where to walk. Yeah? So I will follow this one now. It's a bit nicer because if you just go over the field, it's very hard because you sink in a lot. Sometimes it's wet and there's like 30 centimeters of plants. <laughs> so yeah, okay, move on. So I found another animal trail. It's going away from the, from the road out to this little green I don't know, thing, <laughs> uh, you'll notice on the map, so I'd say this also should be the area where you could find a wild camping spot. The moment is very uneven here, but it's just a matter of, of looking and how much space you need and how even you want to sleep. So actually over there, uh, looks a bit more flat 
yeah let's go there i will try to get somehow to the shore and then walk along the shore because here you can tell this is like what's that alarm <laughs> yeah, i'm pretty sure you find some spots here it's the bridge we have to cross now i think i somehow have to make my way up back to the road again or oh, i'm a bit lost here <laughs> yeah Whew, sweaty Okay, had a little break here. I'm sure from up here there's a car park. So uh, here the, the trails are a bit easier to see. So you see that, that woman, uh, for example, she went down to take picture of the bridge. And I would say this whole area there, you could find a campsite. Also there maybe uh, this little green area or a bit more there. Looks all very flat. Mm. Just you, yeah, it's just also very soft because you have all these, you know, you have these bushes. <laughs> you sleep very well on it, so it's not a big problem. But you don't expect like a campsite grass field. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I don't like to sleep too close to the water uh, or too low, too close to the water because you never know what happens at night, high tide or if there's a storm, a tsunami. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I don't like it so much, but of course, late in the evening, tired, I would take it. I camped right next to the water the first night, although that was more inland, kind of. And here, this is just, that's the ocean, huh? <laughs> that's at the horizon. Yeah. Okay, move on. I have to tackle the bridge there. And that one. Certain passengers like that one over there, it's basically one one lane, it means one side always have to wait that the cars come through and then you're allowed to go so that there's enough space to walk. I think now the bridge is should be two lanes. Second bridge. Yeah. Okay, those were the bridges. It was pretty easy. There's a wide footpath when you're on the bridge, and between the two bridges is just one one lane, so there's Never, it never gets tight with the cars. On the way now to find the trailhead. Up to Wrighton today. It's 543 meters. That's going to be our summit. And it's going to be somewhere over here. <laughs> I don't think it's visible. But what is visible is many people. <laughs> Since I arrived here on this side, uh, there was a big car park and now like two or three groups of hiking, uh, hiking groups, hiking, hiking parties. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's going to be busy, but yeah, to be expected. It's one of the uh, most popular mountains here. And 
it's high season and it's good weather so I'm mentally prepared to meet many people I also mentally prepare you now to see many other people finally on the trail here <laughs> Somewhere that direction. Whew. Sun is shining, but it's also burning. Ah, oh, no, it's not too hot. It's fine. So, little breeze going on, refreshing wind. So, slowly but steady as always. I didn't mention yet, but last night I did not sleep well at all. It was not that it was cold or something, it was more pain, it was leg pain. Well, mainly the right leg, I'd say. The whole leg, it's like I couldn't find a position. It's like the whole leg, mainly from the knee down, the foot, ankle, knee calf, muscle, side, everything was so sore. I had already taken ibuprofen, still was in pain. So yeah, I did not sleep well. It was the whole night, so it turned around the whole time, this position, this position. I was making a lot of noise then, because you know these sleeping mats, for example, my C2 Summit mat, they make a lot of noise when you move so I guess I annoyed my camping neighbors <laughs> yeah I don't know leg is tired toasty yeah that's me toasty super busy now because it's the second path there Oh, another car park, they merge you now, and I was like full with people. <laughs> what? The whole ridge, do, 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 all the way up. Full with people today. Okay, like 20, 30 people coming down. And oh, 20, 30 coming up. <sighs> yeah, busy, 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 busy. But I take my time, I'm hiding under my hat <laughs> behind my sunglasses, going like half the speed of everyone else, keeping the pulse at 120 as always. Yeah, it's fun to watch the other people then, what they wear, how they are puffing, although they have no bag, no backpack at all. At the moment it's a bit of madness here. There's so many people. Huh. Yeah. Heaven for someone like me. <laughs> uh. yeah. Yeah. I have to accept it. The whole tourists like me, maybe they're all annoyed. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often that there's no one behind me, so... <laughs> ah, 230 meters. Still 300 to go. And the people are on that side. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this area is National Park now the whole southwest area it's all national park so no drone flying here i'm not sure so right then it's up there 
if I'm correct. It's probably already the summit. And there should be a junction. Maybe it's there where the path is going down to Kvalvika Beach. That's also where we continue. I think I will leave my bag there at the junction and then go up to the right and without backpack and then pick it up again on the way down to the beach. Sounds like a plan. It's good that they built uh, these boardwalks all over the place here. Otherwise, the amount of tourists here will be difficult to maintain and protect the landscape. Of course, it gets muddy then. And people, if there's mud, people try to the left, to the right, and then it gets wider and wider, and more nature gets destroyed. So, this is the best solution. Well, it's not very hidden there, the backpack, but sometimes that's better than having it hidden. If it's in plain sight, then everyone can see it, and then why, why would then someone think, hey, I go there and, and check it out and steal something from it? Huh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope it's still there. Well, it will still be there, and I don't think someone will snatch <laughs> 20 kilogram backpack but of course someone can open it drone is inside yeah definitely feels good without backpack <laughs> Ooh, like I'm flying Woo <laughs> first glimpse of Kvalvika beach over there we we'll go there on the way down then <laughs> Somewhere up there should be a summit. Just try to see that I find highest point. Highest point is not there where the viewpoint down to the beach is, where the people are. It does fit to the right this direction. Just give it a quick visit. Okay, there's a marker, then I interpret this as the summit. Hey. Oh, cool. Uh, tick, tick. Whew, made it. Brighton, 543 meters. Okay, time to go down, pick up the backpack and then head down to the beach. Hey, hello backpack, it's still there. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I've missed you. Rocky here. Almost at the bottom. Looks like they're building a proper path here. Yeah. They have like uh, rocks delivered by helicopter today and we're building a better path. It's definitely necessary <laughs> because yeah, it was hard. My leg, my knee, definitely not good at the moment. Whew, made it. <laughs> already tense there but we will have to cross the beach and do this difficult rocky section there and go to the other beach Okay, no long break. I'm already on the path. A bit higher up here. Like a old path, I don't know. Uh, supposed to go to the other beach. That's where I have to go. I met a couple and two kids. They just came from there and said, yeah, <laughs> this path is broken. Uh, so you have to climb over some rocks you have to go very deep down and he thinks that the high tide is already coming in so before I have to swim or get too wet I better keep on going and make it to the next beach and have a break there Okay, that's why you cannot continue here. So go back and find a way down. Trying my luck here now, down there over the rocks. Oh, let's go. Yeah, it's climbing through the rocks here. chain there now to help you climbing I guess so 
I will put the sticks away now, the both hands. Unfortunately, I got under water with my foot. Both feet actually. Ocean water. <laughs> that chain thing did not work for me. It was like <laughs> that high up. It's kind of not vertical, but like with a big decline, you know. Could not handle it. That's why I went down. And then, uh, yeah, it's already. I don't know if it's normal or high tide, but. I had to step into the water and now uh, both shoes uh, could have taken shoes off but I just wanted to go through there it was like two steps okay now I think I'm through it there's the other beach let's try to find something to drink okay just up here is the other end of the path the path that was interrupted there with the by rock slide. <laughs> yeah, it's very wet on the shoes now. I hope it dries a little bit next night. For the moment I have to walk in wet shoes. It's not good for the feet. I would say I've got to cover another five, six, seven kilometers in wet shoes. <laughs> Much less busy on this side, but it's because the sun here is already gone. It's behind the rock. So, a couple of tents. See. One, two, three, four. get up there in order to get out here Whew. it's right in there we've been up there yeah beautiful beautiful always oh, almost at the top Be very careful on this path. Whew, very rocky, slippery. Yes, we're slippery. I don't know, and I'm tired. My muscles don't want anymore. So I slipped three times, fell two times uh, since the last time my kind of left upper muscle hurts a little bit. Oh, <laughs> oh God. I think we have to go all the way down there now where the house is. I already filled up both water bottles from the lake. Filtered the water of course. So I'm ready to camp. But I want to continue with more now. It's too early. It is half past seven. So we can easily hike another one, one and a half hours. 9 p.m. is my usual latest arrival time so I can still make a couple of kilometers the more today the less I have to do tomorrow <laughs> and all the logic 
So it is three kilometer for the official end of today's hike. And I don't know anything about the camping situation there. I just saw this here at the lake, down there. Whew. Even, it looks very flat and someone even made a campfire there. I think I checked that out because it's half past eight. I'm hungry. Let's, let's have a look. Looks very good to me. Just way more mosquitoes here, of course, <laughs> next to the lake. So I will give myself a good spray. Worst case, I have a mosquito net. So this is super flat here. This looks my spot. Looks like my spot. Okay, let's set up. Welcome to Kazamatsu tonight. May I give you a little room tour, a house tour? <laughs> okay, as you can see, uh, I have all entrances opened at the moment. Also the ventilation because there's still some moisture in there uh, from last night camping. So I hope I get rid of that a little bit. Anyway, here's the wardrobe and the drying rack <laughs> then here we have the bedroom this will be the entrance yeah not, not much in there yet and we have the kitchen over here yeah. kitchen slash uh, drone starting area <laughs> because we'll have a little drone flight to give you an idea uh, of my surroundings here. Yeah. Um, the path is right up there where the big rock is. Oh, it's in the picture there. It just goes along there. So I'm clearly visible, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and I think some people will come back late because I met at least two couples. Well, I met two couples who went into that direction and it seems like they go there to watch sunset or something like that because the beach, the last beach we saw, um, when we passed it, there was no sun, but of course the sun will go around and you can already imagine over there, uh, the sun will set in that direction, so that beach will have sun again. So maybe they're hanging out there a couple of hours, watch the sun and then they will come back. So we'll definitely hear them and they will definitely see me, but all safe, I would say. <laughs> Uh, mosquitoes are fine. The, you can see them flying here. This is like a big, big swarm, but I sprayed myself normal. Uh, so far, no problem. I try to uh, make sure that no mosquitoes get into the tent uh, to have a so don't get anno annoyed at night. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at that nice lake. I know. This morning I said, okay, I don't like to camp so close to the water. But what I meant was more ocean, yeah, ocean water, because I don't think this, the lake will change overnight. I mean, okay, if the, the cliffside falls into the lake, yeah, then there will be a lake tsunami. But, yeah, yeah, it's very unlikely. So, I just don't like camping very low, close to uh, ocean water, like on the beach or something like that. Okay, uh... I let the drone start, quick flight, and then I will cook dinner and then, yeah, we'll say good night.
beanie on. It's a bit cold now. Uh, today's dinner will be reindeer stew. Yeah. Have to wait a couple of minutes and then it's ready to eat. Oh, look at the lake, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for the naked feet. Just yeah, drying the shoes and socks and everything. Feels very bad to keep the feet in the uh, wet boots and wet socks. It's very cold now, of course, outside, but better cold than having them still in the wet shoes. Okay, let's try the reindeer stew. Looks pretty good, actually. Little spoon here. Hmm. Hmm. Chewy. It is <clears throat> second opinion. No, yeah, it's meat. I wouldn't be able to say it's reindeer. I liked the codfish yesterday more. Oh no, yesterday was the vegetarian um, pasta bolognese. Two days ago, I had this. Had the, we had, oh, I had the codfish. We had the codfish. <laughs> Anyway, still good enough. So salty, a lot of energy. I will finish this now, enjoy the view, and then I will probably uh, say good night later when I'm in the tent. Eating. Hello, tent camera. I'm about to sleep now. That's how it looks like here. <laughs> Chaotic, as always. So today was another tough day, I would say. A lot of walking on the road in the beginning. Then later Raiten, summit. Then the super steep downhill part to Qual Qualkika, Qualvika, Qualvika beach. And then uh, the hike actually from the beach then to the next beach, there where the, the path was broken, climbing, over all those those rocks and then my shoes got floated by the, by the ocean and I'm trying to I'm trying to dry them but I don't think it will work. So I have to continue walking tomorrow with wet shoes. Gonna be fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm tired. I finished this day three kilometers before the actual end. And it means I have to add three kilometers tomorrow, which should be fine because it's a rather short day, at least um, until, no, I have to describe it in a different way. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. I have to catch a ferry boat. Yeah, So that's kind of a deadline. I have to be there at 3. If I'm not there at 3, there's no other ferry tomorrow. It's just the only one goes at 3. Then I'm stuck or have to walk back. <laughs> and so that's the deadline. Should be possible. But like I said, I have to add these three kilometers to tomorrow's hike. I think it's 15 kilometers then, so I have to be end one pass. <laughs> so going to be interesting. I'm planning to get up early. I hope tonight I can sleep well and that my, my legs, knee, feet, are not in so much pain than last night because that really sucked. Oh. Yeah, let's see how I feel tomorrow. It's an adventure. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. Uh, this is the end of this video. I hope you join again for the next video. Until then, over and out. I am Speed. Good night.
Okay. I am speed. I am speed. I am speed. Ferry station where we have to be in under two hours. Eh, I have doubts. 